Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're going to talk about whiskey marketing. And part of that is bottle design, right? Bottle design. The way a bottle is designed, what it looks like, can intrigue you into purchasing that bottle. And some companies do a better job of it than others. It's just the way it is. Some are great, some are honestly kind of boring. So I'm gonna run through some of my favorite bottle designs and some are gonna be individual bottles from a distillery. Some are gonna be whole product lines that I think are exceptionally well done. So I just wanted to take a minute to pay tribute to some of the best bottles on the market. So let's see, where do I wanna start? We're gonna start here. We're going to start with the Magnus, Joseph Magnus product line. Now, I don't have the regular triple cask, um, but I do have the Cigar Blend and the Alexander Murray. I like these bottles because, one, they're a custom bottle. They have the logo, uh, em embossed isn't the right word, but in the glass on the back. And they have this Prohibition style that I really think is really cool and pretty. And the gold label on the Cigar Blend, it just stands out on the shelf. It's just a beautiful bottle. So, product line, very well done, very well executed. Everything I like in a bottle presentation. Next up, we're going to go with old Jackie Poo. Now, not everything from Jack is an absolute home run. I forgot one. But, Jack is doing very well with bottle design. Old number seven has been old number seven for a long time. It's nothing too crazy, but the single barrel bottle and the special release bottle is an incredible bottle. Very heavy, very sturdy base, very beautiful label, and then just all of the decoration, beautiful hefty cork. Now, the 10 is an absolutely beautiful bottle and this and the bonded, which is now in the recycling bin, are beautiful custom bottles with their raised information on the glass and then a nice label. Uh, the only thing I don't love is their new cork is very small and, and it's just a little bit harder to grip than this cork. So, I mean, I'm sure this is cheaper than this. And that's fine because these are, are, well, I don't know what this one shouldn't be. This one should be a very nice cork. I don't understand why they're using this DSPTN1 cork on the 10 year. That should have been a, a special cork like this. But overall, very well done. Jack is, is killing it with the custom bottles. And look at that, that's three different custom bottles right there. So this one's the same as the bonded. This is its own custom bottle that we haven't seen before. We'll probably see it again on the 12 year and the 15 year. Um, and then, of course, the, the single barrel bottle. Perfect. Jack's killing it. Next up, we're going to talk about High West. Now, High West, um, some of their store picks are in these iridescent, beautiful bottles that oh, I just, I love that. I love the iridescent with the, the little air bubbles in the glass making it look antique -y. That's just a beautifully well done bottle there. It's a custom bottle with their logo on the glass, in the glass. And, and that's just a absolutely well done custom bottle. And I like it. They should be doing the iridescent on everything. Next up, we're going to go with Redwood. Now Redwood Empire. Their bottles aren't amazing, but their labels are pretty freaking great. Now, I don't have the Pipe Dream uh, regular bourbon at the moment. I drank all of mine, I gotta replace it. But these labels are freaking beautiful. Whoever's designing these labels, well done. Tons of information. They're being very transparent on the back, and and these are just beautiful bottles. When, when Redwood first came out, their first few releases, 
the bottles were not all that great. <laughs> they just weren't. They weren't all that pretty. But they have really stepped up their game and are putting out a beautiful looking bottle. Next up, we're going to go J. Henry. Their LE bottle, that shit's just pretty. Black label, gold writing, gold cork, gorgeous. And then I think, yeah, synthetic cork. And I'm sorry, if you guys aren't as distillers, if you're not using synthetic corks, those are real cork. Real cork. That one's a real cork. That one looks synthetic. Real cork. These are real corks. You gotta go synthetic. Real cork's over. Let's stop taking cork from where we get cork from. And these synthetic corks are better, more durable, last longer, better seal. Sorry, not sorry. They don't get moldy like real cork does. I have bottles that the cork is gets a little moldy. I have never experienced that with a synthetic cork. So let's get on that. Let's just get on that. Enough, enough, enough is that. Okay. Next up is Peerless. I'm a sucker for a custom bottle. If you have a bottle that no one else has, I'm a sucker for that. I'm a sucker for it. And, and this bottle is just gorgeous. Beautiful cork, nice, easily gripped, beautiful cork. And it is synthetic. It looks almost real, but you can tell it's not. I like the way the labels wrap around in between the, the bevels of the glass. Nice, heavy glass. That is a beautiful bottle that is instantly recognizable. That's what you want. When you're designing a whiskey label, designing a bottle, you want instant recognition that that must be one of your products because it's a bottle that no one else has. Done. You don't even have to have a label on it. You could do no label and everyone would know what that is. Same with Jack. No label, Joseph Magnus, same thing. Every, do you peel the labels off? Everyone knows what that bottle is. Done. Okay. Next up, because I have to talk about them. Blanton's has one of the most iconic bottles in the whiskey world. Everyone knows what this bottle is. Even if you don't drink whiskey, you know what this is. It's got the horsey. It's got the, the wraparound paper label. It's got the shape, custom bottle, of course. Now, it is a cork, so I would change that. But <laughs> the only other one in Mashville 2 that even comes close is Rock Hill Farms, which I still isn't, I don't still don't think is as cool of a bottle. This just, it's hard to beat that. It's honestly hard to beat that. Everyone knows it. They can literally never change this bottle or people will be pissed. So it's kind of like a do too good of a job and you screw yourself. Okay, next up we're doing, it's a whole product line because this motherfucker, he knows how to make pretty bottles. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, how do you compete with this? Custom bottles. This is not. This is a regular wine bottle with a custom label. But this custom bottle, custom bottle, custom bottle. But gorgeous. Gorgeously designed. Like, I swear to God, half the reason I buy these is because the bottles are so freaking pretty. From the small batch to the younger to the to friggin' store picks, it's just come on now, come on. There, it's the most recognizable, beautiful batch of bottles around. Except for some reason, these just speak to me. Broken Barrel, another custom bottle. Heavy, very heavy bottle. The name embossed in down here as well. And they do clear glass, opaque. The way the labels fit, 
the cork, now the cork is real cork, that would change. But the, the handle part of the cork, nice and honky. And, and just beautiful labels. Every one of their labels is so well done. This though is my favorite. Gorgeous, I love a black bottle. Can't help it. I love a black bottle and blue is my favorite color. So a blue label on a black bottle, this is just the most beautiful bottle there is. So yeah, that's my favorite bottle designs. Let me know what you think in the comments. What other bottles do you think are really, really cool designs? Uh, I would give an honorable mention to the Jim Beam Distillers Masterpiece. Absolutely unique bottle, absolutely beautiful tassel willer, you know, and, and a great cork. And then I'd also give it to 1792. That's a great bottle too, custom, and absolutely beautiful. They could have gone with something cheap for their product line, but they went with a nice bottle. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.